What's going on everyone? Welcome to the video. So I just got my hands on one of these cool filters from KNF Concept. It is a black diffusion filter with an eighth strength. And in the video today, I'm going to take you through a full day of street photography out in the rain in New York City with this filter on my lens. So you can see its practical use cases, its strengths and weaknesses, and ultimately decide whether this is something you could potentially add to your photography and videography as well. Just a quick disclaimer before we get started, KNF was nice enough to send me this filter for me to try out, but this video is not a sponsored ad, so I will be giving you my honest opinion of the filter throughout the video. And with that out of the way, let's hit the streets and see what this filter can do. All right, so I started my day in the afternoon in Midtown, as you can see, the day was really wet and cold, perfect for some nice moody vibes out there. Uh, I'm a big fan of shooting street photography in the rain, and I thought that this would be a really cool setting to try the filter out in. I started the day off with an 85mm prime lens from Zeiss Battis, it's an f1.8, and I tried to stop down to at least 2.8 or so in order to achieve some depth of field and bokeh. So from the outset, I quickly realized that the diffusion filter does not do a whole lot during the day. As you can see, I did do a few test shots with the same composition here and there so you can see if there's any difference. I think if you're shooting with the filter during the day, the only area where the black diffusion filter really makes a noticeable difference would be in the bokeh created by a long lens such as an 85 millimeter, which is what I have here, or maybe even a 50 mil. But other than that, in my opinion, not too much of a reason to attach the filter to your lens during the daytime. One thing that did happen to me with the filter during the day, which was interesting, since there was so much rain coming down, I accidentally got the filter all fogged up. And I didn't notice this was the case until I pointed my camera to take some shots. And I actually surprisingly enjoyed what this did to my images here. So this was a pleasant surprise that just happened from me being careless or just the inclement weather or something. But sometimes in photography, we accidentally do things out there while shooting that add a nice touch to our images that we weren't necessarily expecting and I think this was definitely one of those times. So if you're getting a bit bored with the daytime shots here, hang on for a little bit longer because I'm going to move on to nighttime pretty soon and you're really going to see the impact that this filter can have. Alright, so now it's nighttime here and I'm moving to the heart of Midtown. So there will be a lot of colors, highlights, and on top of that, reflections on the streets from the rain creates a really cool atmosphere. And I did a few more test shots throughout my shoot with the filter on and then off. So you can see the difference here. And as you can see, way more of a difference at night. I think at night is really when this filter is supposed to be used. Um, the filter really adds a nice blooming dehaze effect, almost going for a dreamy kind of effect, and I really liked it.
So making my way up to Times Square, I decided to give the panning technique a try with the cars and bikes coming down Broadway. For some reason, I never actually tried panning until now. So it took me a few tries and probably way too many failed attempts to get it right. But finally, I got a few images here that I was really, really happy with. And I think the filter added a nice finishing touch to the blurred out background highlights created by the panning technique. So that wraps things up here. I think in conclusion, the black diffusion filter from KNF Concept, a nice addition that I'm going to continue to use when I'm out shooting street photography at night. Don't think that it has much of an application for daytime unless you accidentally fog your filter up like I did there. I would say that the eighth strength is a little too subtle for my liking. I would have loved to have tried out the quarter strength so if you're going to pick one up for yourself, either option, not really going to break the bank, right around $30, $35. But I think I would recommend starting with the quarter strength to achieve that maximal dreamy effect that you would want to achieve from using one of these types of filters. So thank you so much. Thank you to you guys for watching the video. If you stuck around to the end, make sure you subscribe and hit that like button. Thank you to KNF Concept for the filter, and I will see you guys in the next video.